It is an absolute scorcher today, hopefully for the episode as well, because I'm talking about the weather. The window's right there now on video, as you can see the shine on the kit and on that little building there. A little building? It's a skyscraper. But here we go, on to the second round of games. I think it's the second round of games. Well, it kind of is, isn't it? We played four last episode. We've got five today and, of course, some transfers. As yes, guys, welcome back to the Paris FC career mode. We have Giamp first on the 20th, Nancy on the 27th. Yes, jumping straight into this today with the info. As then we have Njot, Dunkerque and Chatero. These should all be winnable games compared to the start we had. As you can see right there in the table briefly. And in full right now, we are second. Dijon winning four out of four. We lost one game to a team in that top six, you can see right there, if you've watched the last episode, you know who it is. And if you haven't, go watch it. Get out of here until you've seen that one. As today, we have some transfers to do as well. We signed a big keeper, so you won't know who that is until you watch the last one as well. As we're going to look into free agents, we're going to look into, um, of course, normal players. We've got 9 million in the bank, which is quite a lot. If we don't spend it all, I'll probably put some into wages and save some till January, depending on how we do it. And of course... We need to get some players out, I think. We've got a lot here, and we've got 9 million, so if we're going to spend a lot, we've got to get rid of a lot. Sometimes that's easier said than done, though, as the first game is against Gyump. So let's go ahead and play Gyump first, as we've got a loan offer as well for Kioffe, and a transfer offer for Ruland. 2 million from Brentford! Oh my, I really want to use this guy a lot, but he's not had a great start to the season this year, and... He's our second choice behind three. So we've got Manduki, we've got Bamba, and we've got Colino as starts. And then we've got Rulon, and we've got some youth players who could play centre-back. I think I'm going to try and negotiate a little bit more to be cheeky, but this could be the end of Rulon. We sold Desprez, of course, to Stoke City last time. A lot of championship teams coming in for our players, because, of course, we did have a good end to the season last time out. So I think that's why they all want him. We'll go for 2.2... Five, five, as they're going to add a sell-on clause, that's good. Actually, I'm going to try and edit that. If they make that an 11% and 2 million already, they can have a deal as they only want to get 5%. Okay, a little bit more money, please. We'll go to three, uh, three, 350k on 2 million plus 5% is agreed upon. So Rulon could be going out as we've got a, a um, loan to buy here for Patrick Kioffe. I hate how they're all loan to buy us because we just want a normal loan for him. I do see a bit of potential. So he could be losing Rulon to start off with, who is a bit of a shame because he can grow a lot. But of course, get some room on this bench for new players to come on. And we've got Gile, who is a youth centre-back. We could grow two youth centre-backs, Colleen and Gile, into this team. As this is the team we're going to be going with for this first game against Gyamp. So we've got Adrian in goal. That's the new keeper, if you didn't know. Campanini, Bamba, Colleen, Manduki and Hanno at the back. Still over Hadjam with Masiengo, Name and Arab, who's on flames at the start of this season with uh, Gatayan Laura and Yanis Saliba up front over Antiste on the bench. Gurner still there, Dipperville. Got a very, very, very strong bench. Strong reserves as well but they're just not getting anywhere near this winning team. And let's have a look at this team we're against, the Gingamp, I think I'm saying it right, Larson in goal, four at the back, Robocho, Niakate, Sampario, Malloy, Fofana and Pafiri. Looks like everyone's made big signs, and Tep, Liverland and Boyle with Gomi. So their attacking options still look similar, but everyone is changing formation and making signings. I'm sticking with what worked at the end of last season. That's what I'm trying to do, and it's working for us. And just that anomaly, of course, against Stade de Rems, which, of course, they took a three-goal lead within, like, 20 minutes. That was an absolute disaster class, but we did dominate the game from then on, as it looks like we're going to start with the ball as well here. Campanini into Name, across to Saeed Arab. Little flick on right there. Can we get it around the corner? That's a terrible pass. It's now Gomez with the ball, and Fofana, that's a good tackle on him, but Livalon to pick up on the ball. Again, it's Fahiri around the corner. On to Gomez. Gomez tries to just edge away from us, but Fafana, this is good play from the away side right here as we're trying to get the ball off them still. Gomez tackled, still they've got the ball. Colleen gets a tap on it, but Ntep to come away with it, and this is dodgy stuff from us. We are cutting it very close. It's Livalant through the middle. Gomez! Just wide. Very close stuff as now Manduki across the middle all the way into Laura. 
as Lara is going to go back to Name as well. And that's a great run from Campanini. We've got a man in the box as well. And Yanis Saliba, who's actually decent with his head to say he's not the tallest. As Campanini keeps it well right here. He's doing well as the right wing back, despite being one of the lowest rated players. As Lara has the run of Hano. Gone to Masiengo, I think he's offside anyway. But no, into a rab. And Saeed Arab should have got that header. I thought it was offside, so I crossed it straight away as Colleen gets that tackling as well. And we continue to go forward after Gingamp's chance. It's Campanini. Terrible pass. It's our final ball that's actually letting us down a little bit there as Adrian. That wasn't the cleanest of passes, I've got to admit. As Colleen with a great switch out to Hanno, who left the ball a bit there and left it straight to Boyle. That's disappointing from the left back as it's gave them the throw in as well. Hadjam. Might be calling and knocking at his door after that as now go miss. It could have been, even lead to a chance right here as Hanno does get back to recover that. And Saliba with a great header onto Laura there. Just needs to get in front of Malloy who gets there. And it's a very end-to-end -end game as Gomez tackle Colleen but still forced to live on. As Bamba makes a great challenge and Hanno to pass this straight out to Name. Got to get forward a little bit better here. We've got to make sure we get his final ball correct as Laura out to Campanini. Good passing. Get his men flooding into the box. This is what we want. Campanini across his man, but Robocho blocks it. And we have men queuing up as well. Disappointing right there, but we've got a good throw in onto Arab, who's made an option. A side Arab. Give this with a back heel. There we go. Saliba. Back post. It's gone into Laura at the front. Terrible shot. Just needed to put it anywhere but there is now Fiery to come away with it. No, oh, it's a terrible touch as Manduki, the centre-back, gets on it. Gatay and Lara's through, but it goes to Saliba instead, who fizzes one across to Campanini instead of giving it to the side of him. Very, very unusual and won that, but still, we're going to push on them before half-time because we do, of course, want to take the lead. This has been a bit of a an even first half, I've got to say. They've had the better chances. We've had more, as that's a great ball around the corner. Bamba has to get the tackle in and just does, but it's back to Levant, who's putting all the pressure on, but Bamba gets it before he swings for it, and Bamba to run away with it, as that's straight through to Lara as well, and Hanno I was cooking up a pass to him, but tackled in the making as referee blow your whistle. There we go, nil-nil at the break. Nothing really to shout home about, apart from that we should be doing a lot better, in my opinion. I'm going to make a change. Yanni Saliba, I don't think, has touched the ball. And with the team as good as it is, and Antiste higher rated and more agile, he's banging at his door and going to jump ahead of him right now. And now Bamba with the ball right here. What's Bamba going to try and do? He's going to pass it through the middle onto Laura. Masengo. Can we get a run from Antiste right there? Antiste's come straight off the bench and done the run he usually does behind the defence as he sidesteps to the side, but terrible trying to cut inside to get it on his right foot. I don't even know which foot he shoots. I probably need to look that up, but a good intense start from him. I like how much he's going forward as Livont pulls it back though, and they're going to try and get straight away, but Manduki this time onto Antiste with a ball straight upfield onto Masengo, as Masengo right now cuts out. Onto Laura, Campanini making the run down the line as this is another big chance. Campanini again inside, onto Antiste. Antiste away from the defence. Shot from range. Not too bad. Bit of a pocket rocket coming off the bench right there as Romayo's beating us to the ball as well there. Gomis on the ball. He turns out. We could get a run on here. Leavont jumps over the tackle. And it's 1-0 to Gingamp in this second half. We've dominated for about 15 minutes. And they go up the other end. And Adrian leaks in a shot that I think he should save. Yeah, let's have a look at it again. He's got a big stature and frame, Adrian. So he should... He should be getting that. He's at his near post. He's he's gambling that way already. He's fully committed, but he don't reach it. Please don't tell me he's going to continue to do what he does at Liverpool. There's two subs coming on. Dipraville is going to be the Calvary along with Kamara for Masengo, who's going to get a little bit of a rest right here as this is good play down the line. And Tep. Steps over the ball, but still does keep it right here. Pressure on his back as Robocho in the middle. Levant, if it's 2-0, we're out of this game. So a great tackle right there. Masiengo, can you do something before you go off? Pass straight forward to Laura. Antiste trying to make the running behind us. Can we find him with the pass? No, we cannot. And the subs have now been made as Kamara's putting the pressure on here. Fiery with the pass in the middle to Gomis, but a good tackle through the middle. Manduki, terrible and sloppy pass that one as it can't be two. Like I said a minute ago, and Tep with a slid-in pass. But Adrian is first to that. He went down a bit slow as well because, of course, he is old. I reckon that's going to be a common thing. Is now Hanno. Can he get that down the line straight away to Antiste? Good ball, but he's got a lot of work to do as that's a good run from Gatay and Laura at the back post. Antiste needs to get this right. Laura! 
Just over. It's now or never, I think. We might actually fall behind to Gingamp here after we have, in my opinion, been a lot better than them. So Name tries to get the tackle in. Doesn't Leavant on the ball right here. Gomis turns back into Rios. This is going to be a disappointing result if so. I want to try and go for automatics, but this is a bit sloppy as Gomis with the ball right here. Tried to get a tackle in. Colleen possibly with a foul, but no advantage given as they've got a ball straight in the middle right here and he's on side. Bamba, great. No, 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 no. Why is every free kick and penalty in this game never a foul? As I've knocked my microphone over, but that's not a penalty. It's a great recovery tackle from Bamba. Look at that. It gets the ball all day long. And we're probably going to lose the game 2-0 now. But that's a fair challenge every day of the week. It's going to be Gomis against Adrian. And it's gone through his gloves. Disappointing. Very, very shocking from you, big man. Adrian, you've got to save that. You've got one year on your contract. Conceded a couple of goals already. He gets a hand to it as well. He gets a hand to it. That's worse than Simon's penalty um, attempt of save. Uh, a couple of seasons back, but should be knocking that round the post. Gomis makes it two, and we're just going to make sure this doesn't become a common thing. Of course, we have lost the game, I think, now. And Tiste with a terrible touch. We can take defeats here and there. We are not going to go unbeaten. We've got 60-odd rated players still in the team, which even Nance do, who are bottom of the league. So, yeah, we're just going to have to hold his hands up and say we haven't been as clinical as we usually have in this game. As Oh, my days. And Tep's done us right there as Colleen gets the ball. Whack that upfield, and it should be the final whistle, and is. It's a 2-0 defeat at home. At least the fans aren't booing too much. I can hear the odd couple booing, but not an over in boo, which, of course, I kind of did expect. It's a disappointing defeat. And after that game, we dropped to 7th. Still not too bad, because I know it's definitely far from over at this moment. As Rulon has left the club to go to Brentford. Might turn some heads from you guys, but... I've, I'll, I'll, I've taken the money and he's not in the team. As it's Nancy up next as well, as we've got another message right here. What's this message? Gapka. It's a loan to buy from Galatasaray, and that's actually a decent one. Delegate it. 1.25 or 6, uh, uh, 860k, should I say. And I'm going to accept that loan to buy because I don't really see him returning and being a first team of 67 rated. Possibly would have been if he was still 70, but of course that injury is setting back years. As we've got a loan agreed as well, RB Salzburg will be taking Morgan Gilavogi on loan for a year. That's not a loan to buy as well as Kjofi has accepted his one-year loan to the Turkish side. Don't really know the name of it, I apologise. But Nante are up next, which is going to be a simulated game. And the last simulated game before deadline day, which hopefully will make more signings on as scat reports come back. But before that, we've even got another one in here as it's a 17-year-old Leo Carlier, our backup backup goalkeeper. I'm going to, of course, make that only a normal loan, not a loan to buy. I do not want to get rid of that guy as Gapka. I'll accept that loan to buy from Galatasaray for you, though, as it's on to, of course... Um, Nancy next, of course it is. Uh, Adrian in goal for the simulated game. Campanini, Bamba, Colleen, Manduki, Hano, who's gone up a rain somehow. Masengo, Name, and two changes with Dipperville coming in. Lara is still the same. And Antiste coming back in, so I've got the higher rated for the simulated game. And if they do well, they'll be in the next actual team sheet. So hopefully they do do well for their own sakes. And yes, I just did say do do, as this is away against 13th place side, which. It's unlucky for some, but hopefully not for us, as it's a 3-0 convincing one, Manduki. And I'm glad I made them changes, because Antiste and Dipperville both getting goals. Big, big result. Makes up for that first day defeat, as we've just had an international um, player going out. Axel Bamba, the centre-back, we're in fourth now as well, with deadline day before this. So, we're in a pretty steady situation, a lot better than last season, of course, where I don't think we need to make many signings. But we can do. As let's see what happens as we move on as well, because I don't really have anything that's standing out in my face. Like we need to sign someone, we need to get rid of someone. Of course, I want to keep getting rid of these um these lone players. But I might have a look at the uh, squad hub and see which position we are down at bat on. And I guess if Carlier does go out on loan, maybe another backup keeper for the bench, because there is a lot of free agent keepers, and I mean a lot who aren't too bad. Of course, I spotted Adrian as a standout one, but I'm pretty sure I could get another because they all can't be taken by now. We've got two right backs, we've got two left backs, we've got five centre backs and we play three. So maybe another centre back as well, but not a too high rated one. As here we are on the day, how much have we actually spent? Because it says everyone spent nothing apart from Dijon who've spent 4 million and the top of the league. So it proves you need to spend to try and get up. We've spent one 
5.25 million, which isn't bad. We've bought four players in and, of course, three outers. We've got something on the first day as well. Callier's gone out and Said Arab, an offer from Huesca in the top Spanish league. And we do, of course, have De Preville, who's decent. But at this moment in time, it's got to be rejected. Said Arab is a gem. I need to protect him at all costs as the hours are counting down. So I'm going to have a look at that keeper. As here he is, Ludovic Butiel. He is 38. Of course, it's only going to be a one-year loan deal. And he needs to take a low wage and a rotational role. There is no in-between. If you don't accept that, you reject it straight away. So be nice to us. His rotation, okay, he accepts where he's going to be. That is very good. He accepts his age, one-year contract. I would have done that myself, so that's perfect from you, mate. Disregard the release clause. No one's going to want to buy it. And a, and a short wedge. That's perfect. Perfect. We have a backup keeper for a year. And to be fair, I think we have a backup keeper and a starting keeper for a year. I think if we do go up next season, keepers a priority. We'll have Callier back as hopefully a backup if he's high enough rated, but... But TL and I think Adrian will be gone, but at least we've got one for the bench. And of course, he may even push Adrian for a first team slot. He's 38, he's probably going to be slower than Adrian, but Adrian's been pretty slow himself, so you never know. Of course, I'm scouting all those players you guys have told me, but you tell me some really, really good ones I've never heard of, and even my scouts haven't. So this take 30 plus days, so they will be ready hopefully for January as well, as it's saying class from Dipperville, as that is deadline day over. Did we get something after the bell had gone, like a big offer or something? We did, Manduki, one million uh, from, who is this? It's from Galatasaray, but that is straight up done. Of course, I mean done as in rejected. 720 million spent across the French window, that is amazing. And Future, after the bell as well, has a loan offer in for here, and we've got four cams. We've got Dipperville, we've got Milloy, we have um, Arab and Future, so I am going to accept this one, but only, of course, a normal loan, which hopefully he does take out, as it feels literally like a year ago I played that last game as Niort are up next, ninth position, but I am going to simulate this one, and then I'm going to play the one after this, so let's see how it goes, with the team being the same as we um, had for the last one, the only change being on the bench, which is the new keeper coming on, as let's have a look, quick simulation, please. Do not lose this one, as it's a 2-2 draw, and that's a bit disappointing. Gillet scoring. Who the hell's Gillet? A centre-back? Oh, that's our actually youth centre-back. So, oh, I'm getting a bit too happy for a draw, but he scored a last-minute winner. So, good on that centre-back as Ibno Bar scores. Antiste, Kemen and Gillet, of course, getting one the centre-back, which is good to see. As, yeah, it's not a win, but it's okay, so I'm very happy for him. Does he come straight into the team after that? I do want to start rotating teams a little bit more often, but we are in a playoff spot. It all depends on where I think Dunkirk we are. And Dharma Stat 98 actually want a two-year loan offer for William Fuchs, so we're going to accept that as well. As Can we fit two games in, or shall we just go for one after this? I don't want to rush everything, and of course, if we're using his youth, I think it's going to be a harder game, but... Hopefully the low down in the table, as yes, the 17th. Let's just go for it. As we're going to give a couple of players a rest. I like sort of uh, Saliba and Masengo. And there was a, one other, wasn't there? Uh, no, there wasn't. They're the two big players we're giving a rest. Hadjam's coming off the bench for Vargas. Probably gets a bit of game time here with Adrian in goal. Campanini giving Bamba a rest as well, but he's only on the bench for Gile, who scored. Colleen, Manduki and Hanno at the back with Gurner coming back into midfield. He needs to train quickly as a central midfielder because his rating goes down minus four with Name and Arab back in because he's unhappy for some reason. Maybe he's got his mind on that transfer to Huesca as Laura comes back in as well with Antiste at the side and Ricky Van Wolfswinkel on the bench. He hasn't played at all this season or even been in the squad but he's not unhappy yet. Hopefully I can keep him happy if he gets off the bench right here as we should still be getting a win. And let's have a look at this Dunkirk team. If I'm saying that right, it's Maraval in goal. Not heard of him. Cueto, Ba, Kugba and Thain with Romil, Pierre, Dudot and Ketamotophone. Never heard of that. Or Zozula or Agduello up front. Or, did I say or? I mean and up front as that Keta, Ketamotophone. I have actually heard of actually, actually, actually. But no one can say his name, can they? This is a bit of a kit clash going on as well here. A lot of white going on. Don't like their kit, but still. Got the tackling straight away, and I think I know enough to know my own players by the haircuts as well. Antiste 
Got that big, well, little big th throw on him. It's long hair, but not a big throw as Gurners threw straight away here. The substitute has come back into the team. Arab was going for an overhead kick. Not working out on that instance, but still pretty close as Colleen wins his header into Gurner again with the wrist tape on Cantelo ears as Arab gets the run from Hanno as well. I've kept him in the team just. Hopefully can prove his worth as that's going to be a corner. Good win from him right there. And can we get this ball right? Where's Gillet? Looks like he likes to score. Centre-back will be coming up from this as it's out for another corner. Must have come off them. So whipping it in again. Gurner looks like he's underneath it. Only headed to their player though. Puts it straight down to Ketko as he's going to try and run a little bit. But Name with a good tackle. And Name oh, tries to get around the player. Pass straight back into Antiste though. And he's going to... Give it to their striker. And Dudi with a pass into Agduello here as they've got a chance through the middle right here. Adrian. I can hear the screeches for a penalty from the fans and I really thought that's more of a penalty than Bamba's tackle in the last game we played against Gingamp. That's now Arab with a pass forward. And Lara, can we even break on this? Which I don't think we deserve at all. It should be a penalty kick to them as Campanini cuts inside onto Lara. We are very lucky, but can we test our luck a little bit more as that ball around the corner almost worked? As now Saeed Arab, who's going a bit left all the time. Just bending left with his runs. As that's a great ball through to Lara as well right here. Keeper was a bit off his line. Not going to go for the chip of the shot across goal. And it was always a bit of an ask as Agduello taps that back as well to Ketko, who's going to easily get round Saeed And I don't get why. He's always on the left this game. He must be unhappy and just getting out of the way of players. Now, Gurner, he's had a lot of the ball since he's replaced Masiengo. It must be the left central midfielder who gets a lot of it. Now, Arab waits for that run from Campanini right here. Campanini always looking to cross as that's a good one, but no one at the back post. Hanno's all the way back here with a great touch to keep it away from their players. Now Gurner has it. CDM lining up a shot from range and it's a bit of a poor one. And Antiste right here though. We're not going to give up after that chance of their striker. Zozula has gone down injured as Hanno. Just got to whip that in straight away to Laro who made it a bit difficult for himself with the touch but does get the flick on and flicks it into the back of the net as our rotated team doing the business. Of course I do say that and it's two players who are not really rotational players, but first team says that's a great ball in from Hanno. Great little one. And look at this. Chess it down and bicycle motion into the side net. And actually pretty decent, but then again, straight at the keeper. One on one. Two yards out as well as now Gurner. He's gonna run with the ball a little bit here and give it to Saeed Arab as Arab. We've seen that run right there through the middle, but we're going to ignore it as now Arab keeps on going into Antiste. Can we get a 2-0 lead before halftime right here? Is that handball? No, nothing given as Bar does tap it out. And we're going to get something before halftime, hopefully, as that's a great ball in from the corner. Falls to Antiste, and Antiste, oh! Just past the post, but we are 1-0 up and dominating at the break right here, away from home as well, which is very decent, but still... Could be more and against a team lower down in the league. I want to take it to be more. So come on, no messing about anymore. Campanini straight on the ball. He's going to get a rest this game. So maybe he could get an assist before he goes off or even a goal for himself. Don't think he's scored for the club yet. As now Lara straight in the middle onto Antiste. Lara not continuing his run though as Antiste looks to get this out to Gurner who's on the ball constantly. Not doing the best with it but always on it. As now Hanno to run down the line. Can he get another assist from across? Tries to whip it in. He's had a bright game. Into Gurner. Dodgy control, but does keep it. And a terrible pass to go with it. And Pierre with the ball right here. Into Agdudelo. As we've got a yellow card, of course, to Colleen as well. Maybe need to get him off, but this is a good run right here. Campanini misses his slide tackle. They're in the middle. Maybe we don't need to think about changes, as that's a great tackle. And Gillet to pass it out. As now Gurner to run down this centre. He's coming off for Kamara in a second, but can he do some good? As that's a decent pass through to Antiste. Great touch to beat the defender. It's Antiste on the angle. Great save. Really, really well done from Mavaral. That one to keep him out. Of course, it was sticking to his body all the way as Pierre has the ball right here. Pass down to Zozula. Around the corner to Dudoit as he passes it around to Agdello. Just trying to keep the pressure on them a little bit more. Right here is Agudelo. He had a pass on there but didn't opt for it. As now Gillet with a tackle. Arab to run away with this one as Antiste around the corner. Oh, and just blocked before the pass. Arme with it right here though and he's never coming off the field as Arab through that gap. It's Gate and Laura on it right now as can he score? Maybe need to get Van Wolfenspinkel on so it would be helpful. As Mavaral just clutches at that one again and he's made two obscene saves right after one another as Adrian. No mistakes right there. He actually catches it for once as now Hanno with a pass straight away as well. 
Good little flick on to Names. We've got runs going right here. What a ball. Gatay and Laura beaten by Aquero. Gatay and Laura is going to get his rest after that, of course, for Ricky, as now we're going to try and get another. I still don't think it's convincing, despite the substitutions I have made quite early. So we hopefully can get another goal soon. Vargas running down this wing, the number 37, in the middle to Ricky. Now across to Antiste. Can we do something right here? Kamara should have carried on running right there, the substitute. But we do keep the ball. Ricky make that run overlapping as he does fight for the ball and does keep it now. Vargas sub to sub as he's tried to cross it in. And it's going to be our throne right here as small subs made from them. But Vargas straight in the middle to Ricky. Back here to Antiste. One more onto a rabbit. It's gone past him. Kamara! Over the bar. And can we make this any more comfortable than it is? Van Wolfenswink will just caught offside, but... I would like it to be better than this, boys. A 1-0 scraper. I mean, we have rotated the team, yes, but I wanted to get boys' as motivation up and confidence, these players that don't play much, as Ricky Van Wolfenswinkel. think it'll be up for Gile and Vargas with the clean sheet, but Ricky, I want to do it for him and Kamara, who had a chance to score. That's a great ball into the box! And just over the top from Arab, who usually isn't caught with the headers, so I'll let him off for a moment right there. So we've just got added time after 25 more seconds, which... Should be over in a flash as well as Thiam has it right here. We cannot let them get the leveller as well. This is to cement our place in the playoffs for now as that's a dodgy pass. But still goes to Goteni. Please don't let them do something here. Cateno, or the big guy with the big name as that's a good ball through. Gillet with a great tackle and Vargas to get back up on it. Substitution to youth player making the tackles right there between themselves as it is a 1-0 scraped win. But a win we will take. And when we will cherish with the team we had out, I think it's a good performance. As that finishes us up in fifth for today, I'm pretty sure it's moved already. There we go, fifth position, 16 points, so we have a two-point gap on Ajaco, but I think I'm going to end it here for today, guys. We have had all the transfers done. Of course, that draw and loss have cost us a little bit today, but I will take the episode we have. We move on to Chateau, Dijon, top of the league, Ajaco. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Le Havre and Ajaco themselves next episode. So we have, of course, four games right there and one in the month. So we should be finishing next episode on October 31st, 30th or 29th. As yes, controller down. Thank you guys for watching this episode right here. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you've not done already to the channel. We are just going to keep on trying to grow with this series and the channel of course on a whole if we can reach 3k soon that would be amazing as thank you all for watching take care in a bit and peace